Okay, so in this video we're going to look at how to use one of the resources on balancing equations. Uh, it's from the University of Colorado Boulder. Yay, those guys, they have a ton of simulations um, and like interactives to work with. And this one's on balancing equations. So um, you'll have the link to go to, but in case, I don't know, you are looking it up later, you can look up FET, P-H-E-T, Physics, Engineering, and Technology, I think is what it stands for. Um, and just look up FET, Balancing Equations, and it'll get you there. Okay, so you will get to this beautiful page. Sorry for looking this way, it's on the other computer. Um, all right, yes, you get to this page, and you want to play it. Don't download it if you really like it. Okay, you just press play. It will load, and you get an introduction and a game. We'll get to the game later. First, do the introduction, okay? And there's three different things you can do. You can make ammonia, separate water, or combust methane. Okay, we'll start with this one. And first thing you do on any of these pages is start with one of everything. Okay, so you can see it all. If you're just starting out with balancing equations, really easy way to look at it is here's the box of reactants, and they're reacting to make the box of products. Okay, and it puts the little molecules for you, which is really nice because you can literally count. I start with one, two blues. I better end with two blues. Ooh, I only ended with one. Okay, so my, my blues, my nitrogens are not balanced. I started with two nitrogens, right now I only have one. So click up on this side to two, so that way you have two nitrogens here, two blues on your products, two blues on your reactants. Cool. But your hydrogens are not balanced, right? You have one, two, three, four, five, six. So I need to have one, two, three, four, five, six. Yay! Happy face, right? Okay, cool. Then you can separate water, do the same thing. Start with one of everything, combust methane, start with everything, okay? And if you wanted to see some tools, it's just kind of other things to look at to help you out. If you start with one of everything, you can see, aha, my carbons are balanced, reactants to products, hydrogens are not balanced, oxygens are not balanced, okay? So if you like looking at, I don't know, a scale or a balance beam to try and help you figure stuff out, by all means do that. You'd rather look at it in a bar graph. There's another tool for you. I honestly think it's easier to just have none and then you don't have stuff crowding up your screen. It's just me. Okay. Once you are done kind of playing with this and understanding how to do it, then you go to the game. Okay. Three levels of the game. You got to do all three. Um, and at, like after you do one full level, you can then press like next and it will bring you to the next level and bring you to the next level, okay? Um, oh, don't get out. And it loads again. Yay. So there's a good lesson, right? If you've started the game and you're like, oh, I'll come back to it, and you press back in your browser, womp womp, you'll lose all of your uh, progress. So don't do that, okay? Um, level one, easy. Level two, medium. Level three, hard, okay? So you might be doing level one thinking, dear Lord, this is super easy. And then when you get to level three, it's like, this is the worst ever, okay? Um, just show you really quickly, okay? So it's the exact same thing as uh, the introduction, right? The, the practice. But now you actually get scored on it, all right? So uh, I'm starting with one sulfur. I'm ending with one sulfur. So sulfurs are balanced. I start with one, two, three oxygens, but I end with one, two, three, four oxygens. That's a problem. So I have more oxygens on my products than my reactants. So if I click this up, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, and four over here. Ah, right? It's getting crazy. Two sulfurs. So let's balance out with two sulfurs. I have two sulfurs, six oxygens that I start with. One, two, three, four, five, six oxygens that I end with. Everything should be balanced and you check. Hooray! Yay, it's balanced, and next. If you had some kind of issue, you know, if something wasn't balanced correctly, it would tell you, and you'd get another try, and then it'd give you plus one instead of plus two, and then you keep going. Okay, it's great practice, easy way to check, and see if you're getting stuff right. Um, as soon as you go through all three levels, 
and you get your score at the end, which I can't show you that unless I actually go through the whole thing. Um, but you'll get your score. It'll have like, you know, it'll have all three levels and it'll show how many stars you got on each level. Screenshot that. Screenshot that. English. Uh, upload it. And that's points for balancing equations. Yay. Um, if level three gets really tricky, do it again, right? You can, you can replay these games as much as you want to get full points, which is great because it's good practice and, you know, it's, it's always there. It's a good resource. So good luck and uh, woohoo.